Greetings friends and funky players from me and my 2024 calendar. We've made it to a new year. Go us. And you know what that means? I've decided the new year is the best time of the year to get all of those annoying mending projects out of the way so I can finally wear these clothes that have just been sitting in a pile in my closet for way too long. So today, it's a rainy day where I live. We're gonna mend, we're gonna fix, we're gonna hem and chat about 2024 and making things. Also, hey, if we haven't met, my name's Carly. I'm really excited that you're here. I make sewing content and it's really fun. Stick around if you would like to. Wait, before we mend, I really wanna show you my little Christmas projects. My sister and my boyfriend both gave me patterns over the Christmas season, which is officially the best present ever. And I made them both already. I feel like you'll want to see. Let me show you. Well, I'm already wearing my first one. It's the Zero Waste Pattern. It's a workwear jacket by Birgitta Helmerson. And yeah, I made it in this blue heavier quilting cotton. It's got this cool little slit here, if you can see that. And these pockets. I don't know if I like it yet. I'm at that stage where I just keep wearing it to see if it can make sense for my closet. But I just don't know. It's really sad when you make something and you don't know if you like it because I was so excited about this jacket and I bought this cool fabric and then you finish it and it's just on my body and I'm just like mm, mm, mm. So yeah, let me know what you think, but I made it. Second pattern is the Aura Pinafore by Soften Studio. <sighs> I'm really, really excited about this one. This pattern has been on my dream list for a long time. I ended up making mine in a wool silk blend and the fabric is so soft and warm and cuddly. It's quite divine and it drapes really nicely. And I also just did this, this little hand stitched label. I'll try it on for you guys and show you. Ah, here she is. Oh, guys, this one is a good pattern. The drape is so beautiful. The fit around just like the bust area, perfect. And yeah, I've already worn it once and a little girl said I looked like a character. I feel like that is exactly what I wanna be aspiring towards. And those were my Christmas presents. Really exciting. I have a feeling this is a dress that I'll wear for the rest of my life. As long as the fabric lasts, I'll wear it. Okay, now it's time to mend. The first thing I need to do actually is just unpick this super long tag that came on a Gorman headband that I got for Christmas. I have no idea why it comes with this tag, but it's got to go. If you're not a sewist and you're watching my videos, I have to recommend this one tool to you that will improve your life. It's about $2 and it's an unpicker. You can buy it at Daiso, I think, but also at Spotlight or a craft store. But, oh my goodness, this comes in so handy all the time. Oh, it's out. That was quick. <laughs> and now I can just wear it without this massive tag. Seek. My quick pitch for the unpicker is as follows. Cheap. You can customize your clothing so you can take out itchy tags little annoying tags that make no sense or if you've ever bought a brand new blazer or maybe some trousers you might find that often there's some stitching that stitches your pockets closed and it kind of makes them seem like an invisible pocket but they're not invisible they're just stitched closed i don't know why i used to work in a formal store and i worked with a lot of blazers and they were always stitched closed and i would just tell all of the gents unpick that because that's a real pocket anyway that's it the headband is now wearable in my eyes. Let's move on to the second project. Second thing I need to do today is re-stitch this cape I borrowed from my mother a year and a bit ago. I was asked to make a wedding cape situation for a friend and I couldn't figure out the pattern and then I remembered my mum had this cape vibe thing. So I asked if I could unpick it and use it as a pattern with the promise that I would mend it and give it back to her. And a year later and I haven't. I just got one shoulder stitch to do up. <laughs> That's so bad. But I'm doing it, I'm doing it today. I think I'm gonna hand stitch it and maybe do like an overlock 
I haven't quite figured it out. Okay, I pinned it together. I think this is actually something I can achieve with machine stitch. And you know what's kept me from doing this for a whole year? The fact that I'm going to have to change my overlooking thread. That took five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> I think I've been sewing for about two years now and I only just the other day threaded my overlocking tail into the overlocking stitches for the first time. And I was like, um, where have you been all my life? It looks so much neater. Took me 10 seconds. It's so weird in sewing, there's just some things that feel so annoying to do when they don't even take long. For example, I never used to pin my clothes. I actually thought that pinning stuff together was just so annoying and that I could just be so good at sewing that I would never need to use a pin, which is crazy because no matter how good you are, pinning is just so important for some things. Some things are liable, but most things, especially when there's curves involved or like a gathered measurement or whatever you need it to line up anyway this is one of those things it's like um that actually wasn't hard that was so easy cape restored sorry it took a year and a half mom <laughs> the next thing on my list of things to do is to do this little thrift flip thing that I've had in my closet for six months. I already trimmed off the sleeves. The problem was that this piece had these sleeves on it that were just too tight. They fit, but they were like, if I wanted to do that or this or any reaching movement, impossible. So I cut them out and I think I'm just gonna finish these sleeves with bias tape. And then it's kind of like a cute little mini dress, but I think I'll wear it as a top. I think that's the thing with mending, is that a lot of the time it's not difficult, it's just really annoying. And that is just such a deterrent. Like, I think the only reason that I'm getting this stuff done is because in my head I was like, I'll make a YouTube video. I will make this an event so that it gets done. Which, oh man, man, why is it so hard sometimes? It's the same energy as when you put like a time lapse on to do your cleaning. It just kind of keeps you accountable. So yeah, I cut the sleeves off and I'm just left with this lining and the mane and I'm just gonna pin them together and do a round of stitching with probably like a five millimeter seam allowance just to keep the two pieces together. And then I can just do a bias tape finish and I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. But it should be pretty chill. Also, can I just say guys, I spent a lot of last year trying to get pants to fit me, right? M uh, specifically, pants that I had made. So I was trying to perfect my pant pattern and I just tried on a pair of pants that I thought fit me perfectly last winter. And they don't. They just don't fit right. I don't know what's happening, whether my body shape just keeps changing or what, but I swear every time I get a pair of pants to fit me close to good, I put them back on like a month or two. They just don't fit right. <laughs> Do you guys have the struggle too, or is it just me? Hi, yay. Okay, I just did my first sleeve to make sure that that was doable and it's good. I used a maroon stitch in my bobbin and I used a blue top stitch and my grandma's hand-me-down bias tape which is a bit old and it's not really good enough to use on 
any pieces that I sell, but it's fine for me. But yeah, the stitching is basically invisible on the outside and it matches on the inside and I love it. I love it. I'm just gonna snip off any of the excess fabric now that I've attached the first portion of my bias tape. But while I do that, I wanted to ask you, what are your 2024 goals, dreams, desires, if you have any? Especially, I wanna hear everything about your sewing projects, small business, hustles. Let me know. Uh, for me, I want to spend a lot more time making other people's patterns. I do really enjoy self-drafting and obviously I want to keep getting better at that skill but I just find, because I never really learned how to sew properly, every time I use someone else's pattern I just learn something. I learn a new technique or a new shape or something like that and I just want to keep learning in that capacity. Okay, this is the dress shirt thing with no sleeves. I think the sleeve is like the slightest bit gaping. I tried to put a little dart in there, but it just kind of looked clunky. But maybe it's fine. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna put it back in my closet now without sleeves and just see if I gravitate towards it in the next six months. And if I don't, it's gotta go. But I've given it another chance. But the color's kind of cute though, right? Hey, hey. <laughs> Loki, every time I make a YouTube video, I just get changed like 17 different times. Don't know why. Just feels like I have to. But also, it was raining and it was cold, and now it's kind of like that sticky, humid after rain vibe. So I was dressed all rugged up, and now I'm like <sighs> really warm. The next thing I need to mend, which I really didn't want to do is my patchwork nunzia dress that I made last year. I made a YouTube video, if you've seen it, shout out to you. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I wore this once to a wedding and there's like three spots where the seams have just kind of like popped open. I literally don't know. It's actually scary. Maybe it's the fabric. It's resisting being stitched. I don't know what's happened. But I love this dress, so I'm going to just go over the seams and backstitch them where they've ripped apart and see if there's any other weak spots in the garment. Because I want to wear this again. But it's got holes. It's got holes. That was my third thread colour change, and I just wanted to say that I'm proud of myself. Thank you. I'm going to try a smaller stitch length, and maybe that will give it more robustness. I don't know, sis. She needs to do better for me. Okay, there were a lot more holes in this dress than I thought, so I feel like I've just been doing that for ages. And somehow in the process, I've made this armhole tighter than this armhole, and that's making me very, very sad. <laughs> so maybe we're gonna have to try and fix that. I have no idea where this fabric just kind of split apart from its stitching. This time around I did a much smaller stitch length in the hope that it would keep it secure, but I don't really know. Actually guys, I don't think I'm going to keep it. I tried it on and then there were more holes and I fixed those holes and I just tried it on again. There's like three or four more holes in new places. It's so sad because I really like this dress, but also I don't know if I'm really going to wear it much more again i just i just like it and i'm proud of it it took so long to make but if every seam has structural failure that's kind of problematic as a wearer mm, sad. <laughs> anyway i'm gonna stop mending this one i think she's a lost cause for me today also it may not be the seams or the stitching it might be the fact that i have to stretch it over my body every time i wear it and it's not super stretchy. It's stretchy, but I don't think it likes being like stretched on. Final thing I want to mend is actually my formal dress. <laughs> Almost 10 years ago. This is my formal dress. It was floor length 
you can't really see but it's got all of this beautiful shimmering like iridescent beading on it and a few years ago my mum hemmed it shorter for me and it just, it just didn't fit me back then it fit kind of weird but it fits me again now and I think I want it shorter. I think I want it shorter. And I'm just gonna see if it's at a really cute little mini length, if it's something that I'll feel comfortable wearing. Let's give it a go. I think it's gonna be a little difficult with all of the sequins, so I might have to hand stitch it, but I'm, I'm up for the challenge. Let me show you what the length is like right now. This is the length. It's a very modest length. And I think I want it to be like mini, like this. That's my vibe. I have no right to be this bold, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut it by eye. Don't, don't yell at me. Yeah, I think the length is much better. Don't tell me if you hate it. I just, I just can't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna do a teeny, teeny, tiny hem, hand stitched, and call it a day. I'm not exactly sure the best way to do this because the material is very fine and the beads are disintegrating. So I think I'm just going to go by hand and really slow and small sections. And again, if it doesn't work, it's like, I tried, but this was something that I wasn't wearing. I did see that you should smash beads with a hammer instead of cut where they are because then it, it breaks the bead and not the thread. But um, I don't know where the hammer is in my house, so I broke the thread with my scissors. Don't be mad at me, please. <laughs> I think I'm gonna finish hand stitching this off camera now because it's probably gonna take me a hot second, but I'll check in with you at the end of this process and hopefully it's cute. Okay, I finished hand stitching and it's much 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 cuter i'm so pleased with it the hem is so much more wearable for me now and it feels a lot more comfortable to wear so that's awesome a big win took a little second but all good all my little mending projects are done now which is an awesome feeling and yeah i'm excited to get into some proper sewing soon anyway thank you so much for hanging out with me as i did some really boring sewing jobs i appreciate you a lot and if you've got some of those mending tasks sitting in your basket you can do it i know you can do it you can change your thread color i believe in you anyway that's all i've got a lot of exciting projects planned for this year so i'm looking forward to doing a lot of sewing with you all Thank you for being here and if you haven't hit subscribe do it and we can hang out more anyway thanks for being here i appreciate you a lot love hearts i'll see you in the next one bye